If you have a SeaSnake CSX series monitor and want to connect up your phone or tablet to view and record inspections on the HQX Live app, you came to the right place. So let's start by setting up our monitor. Open the menu and make sure Bluetooth is on. Then make sure Wi-Fi is on and set to host mode. Now we'll go to our phone and make sure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are both on. Now we can open the H2X Live app and connect to our monitor. Now Android and iOS are a little different, so we'll look at both of them. Let's start with iOS. The first time you open H2X Live, you'll need to give it permission to use Bluetooth. So we'll tap OK. And when our monitor appears, we'll tap on it to connect. We'll join the network. And since this is our first time using the app, we'll need to give it permission to connect to our monitor over Wi-Fi. And that's it. We're connected to our monitor. Now let's look at Android. Now the first time you use your app, it will ask to use your location. Now we want to geotag our media, so we'll choose precise and while using the app. We'll let it use the microphone. We'll let it use Bluetooth. We'll let it play back our video recordings and save media to our phone. Now our monitor will appear and we can tap on it. This opens our Wi-Fi settings and we'll tap on it again to connect. Android devices will check the internet connection, figure out that our monitor doesn't have internet access, and ask what to do. We'll choose connect only this time, then we can go back to the app and we're good to go. Now that's how it should go, but what happens if you can't connect? Maybe you've connected to it in the past and now it's not working. So what do you do? First, check the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi settings on your monitor like we showed you earlier. Then check your phone, make sure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are both on. Then open your phone's Wi-Fi settings and look for your monitor in the list of available networks. It may not show up right away, so give it some time. If you don't see it after several seconds, check on a different device. And if you still don't see it, your monitor's Wi-Fi may not be transmitting and you'll want to get it looked at by a service center. If you do see it, tap on it to connect. Now, if you're on iOS and get a message that it can't join the network, it could be an issue with permissions. We have a video on setting iOS permissions, so be sure to check it out. As always, if you want more information on SeaSnake tools and software applications, visit the SeaSnake support website. And if you're stuck and need help, call the product support line and we'll get you going.